welcome friends in this video i am going to discuss about the jacobians these jacobians are used to transform from one system of variables to another system of variables mainly in double integration and triple integration then how to find out these jacobians and how to define these jacobians say for example if u is a function of x and y v is also a function of x and y means u is a function of two variables v is also a function of two variables means u and v depends on x and y then the jacobian of jacobian of u v with respect to x y is defined like this defined as jacobian is equal to j equal to do of u v with respect to x y okay notation this is a notation how to uh, define okay then because u and v are the functions of x and y then it is defined to be determinant of partial derivative of u with respect to x and y do u by do x do u by do y and second row will be v with respect to x and y do v by do x and do v by do y okay this is how to define a jacobian like this inverse jacobian is also there correct therefore inverse jacobian is also defined like this here inverse jacobian of x y with respect to u v is defined as okay is defined as j dash equal to we can write it as j dash okay and here it is a do of x y with respect to u v correct here it is a uv with respect to xy now it is xy with respect to uv but here x should be a function of u and v y should be a function of u and v then we can define this as a determinant as do x by do u x with respect to u and v first row do x y do v and second row y with respect to u and v do y by do u and do y by do v like this we can define and we are having the one theorem i am not going to prove that theorem but you can have the note on this that is a note j into j dash that is a jacobian of with and it's a uh, inverse jacobian will be equal to one okay we can prove that but here i am not going to do the in interested here i have defined the jacobian for u v with respect to x and y two variables are depending on two variables here also same thing inverse jacobian now three variables are depending on three variables i will define now okay now consider consider u is a function of x y z and next v is a function of x y z and w is also a function of x y z then jacobian j is equal to do of u v w with respect to x y z is defined to be third order determinant because three variables are depending on three variables it is defined to be like this okay here first row will be u with respect to x y z do u by do x do u by do y do u by do z partial derivatives of u with respect to x y z second row will be v with respect to x y z do v by do x do v by do y do v by do z similarly third row will be partial derivative of w with respect to x y z do w by do x do w by do y and do w by do z 
is the determinant if you solve this determinant we'll get the jacobian j of u v w with respect to x y z okay this is how to define the jacobian like that if the three different functions are there okay say for example now another one consider consider x is a function of x is a some function of r theta phi okay next y is also some function of r theta phi and similarly z is also a function of sorry some function h is a function of r theta phi then jacobian j is defined like this then jacobian j is equal to do of x y z with respect to r theta phi correct and it is again the third order determinant third order determinant x first row will be x with respect to r theta phi partial derivatives of x with respect to r theta phi that is do x y do r do x y do theta and do x y do phi second row will be y with respect to r theta phi that is do y y do r do theta y sorry do y y do theta and do y y do phi similarly my third row will be z with respect to r theta phi do z y do r do z y do theta and do z y do phi these are the definitions of jacobian if and one more thing we have to note it is if two variables are there they must depend on two variables only if three variables are there they must depend on three variables only otherwise the determinant will not exist because the determinant should be a square matrix this condition we have to remember here in my next video with an example how to evaluate jacobians i am going to solve in my next video if you not yet subscribe my channel please subscribe my channel don't forget to hit the bell icon so that you'll get the notifications of my next videos like this video comment and also share this video thank you friends